Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh brothers and sisters This is our Eid, uh, a reminder insha'Allah ta'ala Alhamdulillah Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala We praise due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Lord of the heavens and the earth The maker, the controller, the provider, the sustainer The king of the kings brothers and sisters And peace and blessings upon our beloved messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam <coughs> brothers and sisters the day of Eid Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar La ilaha illallah Allahu Akbar Allahu Akbar Walillahi alhamd the day of Eid brothers and sisters is one of the greatest days in Islam brothers and sisters that is the day of Eid the day of Eid comes after the journey of Ramadan that 30 day intensive intensive training of the month of Ramadan brothers and sisters comes the day of Eid as a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brothers and sisters Eid comes as a day of celebration a day of graduation brothers and sisters because we've been we've been in, you know in, in the University of Ramadan attending this 30 day training in the University of Ramadan so the Eid is the day of graduation, brothers and sisters, for those who have succeeded in, in, you know, in that 30-day training, for those who have succeeded in their university of Ramadan, brothers and sisters. So Eid is a day for them too, to celebrate, to be happy, to enjoy, inshaAllah ta'ala. To enjoy that connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that closeness to Allah, to enjoy, you know, the purification to enjoy patience, to enjoy, you know, taqwa, righteousness and piety, brothers and sisters, subhanAllah. Because Ramadan was the school of purification and patience and unity and goodness and closeness to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Islam, brothers and sisters, is a religion of honor, is a religion of success and happiness, brothers and sisters. So Allah has bestowed upon us this blessing uh, of Ramadan so that we can purify ourselves, we can reconnect with Him, reconnect with the Qur'an, we can start a new relationship with Allah, that we can reconnect with our uh, you know, family members, friends, community, you know, subhanAllah brothers and sisters, you know. So the day of hate brothers and sisters, the day of graduation, uh, declaring the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and loyalty to Allah. How we start Eid, brothers and sisters, by doing the takbir of Eid. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Walillahi alhamd. We start the day of Eid, the day of graduation, the day of celebrations, brothers and sisters, by announcing and declaring the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and by showing loyalty to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers and sisters. That's how we start the day of Eid, the day of graduation, the day of celebration, that's how we start it, uh, brothers and sisters, because that's what Allah said, وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا الْعِدَّةَ عَلَى مَا هَدَاكُمْ وَلَعَلَّكُمْ تَشْكُرُونَ SubhanAllah, you know, وَلِتُكَبِّرُوا الله. so that you can praise Allah, glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and announce and declare the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers and sisters, why? Because of his guidance. He has guided you to worship him in Ramadan. He has guided you to, to, to connect with him in Ramadan. He has guided you to connect with his Quran. He has guided you to be closer to him. He has guided you to, to, to do the fasting, to give charity, to be good, to go, you know, subhanAllah, to connect with, with others. SubhanAllah. And, you know, uh, you know, and uh, in order for you to become uh, you know, from the people of shukr, the people of gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, brothers and sisters, subhanAllah. Uh, you know, only when you are happy, subhanAllah, comfort, uh, you know, you feel happiness and comfort and tranquility, then you are grateful, subhanAllah. And after Ramadan, how can we not feel, you know, the feeling of peace, tranquility, happiness, comfort, subhanAllah, you know, so that we can uh, be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers and sisters. 
Because Iman and Shukr is Wiqaya Min Adabillah. Iman, belief, faith, and Shukr and gratitude is, is protection from the punishments of Allah, brothers and sisters. Because when you believe, Iman means to amin uh, nafsika, to secure, to secure yourself through believing in the divine, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, subhanallah. And shukr also, brothers and sisters, gratitude to Allah also, you know, is a way of, you know, uh, protecting yourself and saving yourself from the punishments of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah said, يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْيُسْرَ وَلَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمُ الْعُسْرَ Allah wants ease for you. He doesn't want difficulty for you, subhanallah. Allah wants ease for you, brothers and sisters. That's why He has given us the gift of Ramadan. <clears throat> so we, uh, we can reconnect with Him and we can, you know, uh, achieve that feeling of happiness, you know, tranquility, comfort, peace that we're all looking for as human beings, brothers and sisters, subhanallah. But I'm hoping that we have all found it during the month of Ramadan in worshipping Allah, in connecting with the, with, with the divine, subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers and sisters. <clears throat> in Ramadan, we have learned how to restrain ourselves, brothers and sisters, how to control our actions, our behavior, our, you know, subhanallah. So those are the things that we've learned in Ramadan, that we've gained from the month of Ramadan. So we need to aim to, you know, to keep them going, inshallah ta'ala, even after the month of Ramadan, uh, brothers and sisters. Because as we said before, Ramadan is a daif, is a guest that comes to us. And a guest that doesn't come empty-handed, brothers and sisters. It comes with so many blessings and so many gifts. If someone that you love, you know, someone that you love comes to you as a guest to stay with you for one week, for three days, for two weeks, for one month, and it brings so many gifts to you, subhanAllah. That makes you feel happy, content. You love them more, subhanAllah. When they go, after they go, are you going to put the gifts that they brought you, are you going to put them in the bin? Are you going to get rid of them? Or are you going to keep them and look after them and look at them every time and think, MashaAllah, you know, my Allah reward them, they brought me this, they brought me that, they brought me that, subhanAllah. Same way with Ramadan, brothers and sisters, the same thing. Ramadan brought so many gifts to us, so we don't want to waste it. We don't want to just, you know, throw it away immediately after, after eight brothers and sisters. We want to keep the, the gifts of Ramadan and hold on to it, inshallah ta'ala, brothers and sisters, subhanAllah. Ramadan was a, a month of spiritual uplifting, you know, so that when the day of eight comes, you are spiritually connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and hopefully we have achieved that taqwa righteousness. That was the main outcome for the month of Ramadan, brothers and sisters. <coughs> Ramadan and the day of Eid is a day of unity, brothers and sisters. It's a day of family, being with the family, with the loved ones, a day of happiness, love, joy. You know, uh, that's what Eid is all about, brothers and sisters. The day of celebrations in halal way, obviously, you celebrate the day of Eid in a halal way, brothers and sisters with your family, with your loved ones, uh, insha'Allah ta'ala, you know, uh, subhanAllah. And let your kids, you know, play, run around, you know, buy them gifts, decorate the house, to give them that feeling of Eid. It's a special day. It's not a random day. It's not just a normal day. It's an exceptional day, brothers and sisters. It's a day of graduation. It's a day of celebrations after the month of Ramadan. You know, so it's one of the days of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's a gift to the believers, subhanAllah. So make sure you enjoy it with your family, with your kids, inshallah ta'ala. Buy them gifts, buy, you know, decorate the house. Let them run around and play and have fun on the day of Eid, inshallah ta'ala. So they understand that in Islam, we have days in which we have fun, we celebrate, you know, subhanAllah. We got used to fasting, brothers and sisters, subhanAllah, and a lot of people are very sad because Ramadan has gone, subhanAllah, Ramadan you know, has ended and is gone uh, because they got used to fasting, you know, praying in Ramadan, reading more Quran. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger وسلم, has given us the six days of Shawwal. As in the hadith of the Messenger وسلم, said, Man atba'a Ramadan, you know, whoever uh, follow, follows Ramadan, so whoever follows Ramadan, brothers and sisters, with the um, six days of Shawwal, you know, subhanAllah, Allah will wipe out all his previous sins, subhanAllah. Whoever follows the month of Ramadan with the six days of Shawwal, you know, Allah will wipe out his sins, and plus 
كان له كمن صام كمن صام الدهر كله and as if you have fasted for the whole year سبحان الله if you follow Ramadan with the six days of Shawwal the reward you get as if you have fasted for the whole year brothers and sisters سبحان الله so those who can fast the six days of Shawwal make sure you fast inshallah ta'ala brothers and sisters so you don't prevent yourself from getting the reward of fasting for the whole year inshallah ta'ala brothers and sisters the day of Eid, the day of unity, coming together, brothers and sisters, as Allah said, وَاَتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا And hold on to the rope of Allah, all of you. And hold on to the rope of Allah and do not become divided. So, Eid is a day of unity, brothers and sisters. A day of coming together, putting differences aside and coming together, uh, you know, being one ummah, one family, one unity, one community, one unit, inshaAllah ta'ala, one component. And enjoying and celebrating the, the day of Eid, uh, brothers uh, and sisters, inshallah. Um, the day of Eid, brothers and sisters, you know, is a day to, to, to remember the Muslim Ummah, to remember every person from the Ummah, brothers and sisters, to remember our brothers and sisters, you know, in every part of, of this earth and make dua for them. And, you know, before Eid, as you all know, we have to give the Sadaqatul Fitr, Zakatul Fitr, subhanAllah, Zakatul Fitr. And Zakat al-Fitr is like a purification, brothers and sisters, to compensate for any shortcomings, for any mistakes that we've done in the month of Ramadan, subhanAllah. The same way in the Salah, when we miss one of the pillars of Salah, or we add to the pillars of Salah, we do sujood al subhanAllah, you know, to compensate. So the same way in the month of Ramadan, to compensate for our mistakes and our sins, and in the meantime, is a day to purify ourselves and in the meantime to remember the needy brothers and sisters to 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 have that you know subhanallah that you know social uh, you know happiness that we're all happy on the day of Eid there's no one in need on the day of Eid so the enjoying the day of Eid the day of Eid comes and every Muslim is happy and content and they have enough to feed their families and and you know to be happy on the day of Eid uh, brothers and sisters subhanallah in Ramadan, we have learned how to prioritize, how to prioritize the religion of Allah, how to prioritize Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his religion. So we need to try and learn all the time how to prioritize Allah and his religion, brothers and sisters, subhanAllah. So Allah should be priority in our lives all the time, brothers and sisters, not just in the month of Ramadan, but even after the month of Ramadan, brothers and sisters, subhanAllah. And, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, brothers and sisters, um, you know, um, He gives so many gifts, so many gifts to the believers. And even on the day of Eid, believers, they gain and they get reward and they get gifts from Allah, uh, subhanallah, brothers and sisters. And Allah has given us this biggest gift of Ramadan so that we can purify ourselves uh, because we can uplift our hearts revive our hearts brothers and sisters and connect with our our lord subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we can taste and enjoy the beauty of worshiping allah connecting with allah and being worshippers of allah so that we sh we cannot uh, also so that we don't prevent ourselves from tasting that beauty of worshiping allah and believing in allah and being closer to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so after you tasted the beauty of this connection with Allah and praying to Allah and cl being closer to Allah, how can you prevent yourself from this after Ramadan, uh, brothers and sisters? And Ramadan is a time to make uh, Eid, Eid, brothers and sisters, is a time to make dua for our families, for our ummah, for our community, for the, the, the humanity, brothers and sisters, to come to the path of Allah, to the religion of Allah, uh, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And finally, Eid, is a day to celebrate and enjoy and have fun but remember have it in a halal way in a way that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you don't want to earn the anger of Allah and displease Allah on the day of Eid after that journey of Ramadan you want to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of Eid brothers and sisters may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, you know accept our Ramadan, accept our good deeds, our Salah, our prayers, our Qiyam layl our Taraweeh, our Qur'an, our charity, you know. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, you know, grant us uh, tawfiq, success, happiness, and make us among the people of righteousness and taqwa. 
And may Allah keep us firm upon his religion, upon his path until the day we return to him. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring ease to all of us, to the ummah, to the Muslim ummah, to the community, to humanity, inshallah ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank mm -hmm. you.